Chinese scientists plan surface-to-air missile with 2,000 km kill range. The world's longest-range electric aircraft, the Y-20, will have a range of more than 2,000 km (1,240 miles), according to a peer-reviewed paper published by the Chinese Language Journal of Graphics. Ultra-long-range air defense is considered infeasible with surface-to-air missiles typically having a flight range of tens of kilometers and the fastest few reaching several hundred kilometers. The team, led by Su Hua, an associate researcher at Northwestern Polytechnical University said, the weapon would be able to shoot down early warning aircraft and bombers, preventing them from intervening in possible regional conflicts. The PLA would issue a warning to any target aircraft's country of origin and only fire if it failed to turn back. The technology is of great significance for maintaining regional and global peace and stability. The PLA's brief was for a weapon with low production costs that is also convenient for daily operations, at a maximum 10 meters, 33 feet, long and weighing no more than 4 tons to make it suitable for vehicle-mounted mobile launch. Marcos Jr. says China showing interest in South China Sea atolls that lie close to the Philippines. Su and his team exceeded expectations, designing an ultra-long-range missile at just 8 meters, 26 feet, and with a mass of 2.5 tons. A solid rocket motor will provide the enormous thrust for vertical launch, followed by a ramjet engine to propel the missile in the upper atmosphere. The paper did not detail the missile's appearance, but the design parameters suggest it may be similar to the Phaetian 1 hypersonic vehicle, which has a similar two-stage propulsion system and was successfully tested by the university two years ago. The Phaetian 1 is the world's first hypersonic vehicle to be fueled by inexpensive and safe kerosene. The wing-body fusion design significantly extends its range by allowing it to fly continuously within the atmosphere. The scientists said that real-time data from reconnaissance satellites will guide the new missile, before it switches to its own senses in the final approach, detonating its warhead when it reaches an effective kill range. China has established a powerful global satellite monitoring network that makes traditional stealth technology, as used by the United States B-2 and B-21 bombers, useless. Jilin-1 the world's largest Earth observation satellite constellation, is capable of tracking an F-22 stealth fighter, according to a video released by the Chinese authorities showing one of the jets sipping through the clouds in real time. Chinese university sanctioned by U.S. declares success of hypersonic flight. Larger aircraft, such as tankers, early warning aircraft and bombers, are slower. Their distinct features can be visually identified and tracked by satellites using artificial intelligence as soon as they appear on the runway, Su and his team said. These satellites are part of China's anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, capabilities that it has been developing to cope with potential military conflicts in hotspots such as the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. Beijing has vowed to bring Taiwan under mainland control, by force if necessary. Like most countries, the U.S. does not recognize the self-ruled island, but opposes any unilateral attempt to change the status quo and is committed to the island's defense. The South China Sea is the subject of competing claims by numerous countries in the region, which occasionally escalate to confrontation between China and its neighbors, many of them allied with the U.S. China initially regarded hypersonic weapons as primarily a supplementary means of breaking through the U.S. missile defense system and attacking fixed targets within the United States in the event of a conflict. Technological advances and improved performance of these weapons in recent years have led Chinese scientists and engineers to propose increasing numbers of applications for them. These have included the possibility of attacking a moving aircraft carrier group with a barrage of hypersonic anti-ship missiles, and sending air-to-air -air missiles swooping down from near space to engage U.S. stealth bombers. The PLA's conventional ballistic missiles and hypersonic weapons already cover all U.S. military bases in the first island chain, which runs from the Japanese archipelago to Borneo, including South Korea, Japan and the Philippines. 
Subscribe Defense Matters.